Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In the last video, we had designed this uh, home page, and uh, in this video, we will add some animations and interactions. So, we need to do three things in this video. The first one is to add an animation to this button. So, when we hover over the button, we want it to move a little upward, and then we want to add a hover effect to this image. So, when we hover over the image, we want the image to rotate and lastly we need to have a search box appear when we click on this search button and then when we click on the close button it should disappear all right so let's get started now the first thing we'll do is duplicate this frame so click on that and hold alt and then drag this now let's go back to the home page and uh, here we can see three tabs over here and we have to go to prototype to do the animations now once you go to prototype you can go ahead and select any of these elements from here and when we hold our button we can see we have this uh, sign over here we can drag this to the next frame so let's click on it and drag it to the next frame so now whatever changes we make over here will be considered as an animation for this frame but before that let's go and select this button and we have to make some changes over here so first of all in interaction we can see it is set to on click so we have to change it to while hovering and then under animation we can see it is set to instant so we have to change it to smart animate and we'll change this to ease in and out and uh, we'll leave it as 300 milliseconds now we'll go to the button animation frame and uh, we'll just move this button up a little all right so now to see our animation you have to click on this present button and now we can see when we hover over the contact me button we have this animation we'll just set the zoom to scale down to fit now let's animate the image so it is also pretty much the same we just have to duplicate this uh, home page frame now just click on this image and uh, drag this thing over here to this frame and uh, we'll rename this frame to image animation and we'll set the interaction to while hovering and the animation is already set to smart animate and we also have ease in and out all right so now let's go ahead and uh, rotate this a little now let's test the animation so now when we hover over the image we can see that it rotates now the last thing to do is we have to show a search box when we click on this icon so for that we have to add some elements to our home page so we'll go to the home page frame and uh, we will add a rectangle we'll go back to the design tab and we'll just give it a height of 67 pixels and uh, we'll move it to the right over here and uh, we'll just increase the width to up to here and we'll also add a corner radius to two of these corners so you have to click on this button called independent corners and we'll change the corner radius for bottom right and bottom left so we'll change it to 8 and 8 and we'll also change the color to this color over here and we'll also add a box shadow so just click on this plus icon in effects and we'll just change this to 8 and uh, change the opacity to 15 all right so now we'll add a text called search here and uh, we will set it to the center and uh, we'll have a left margin of 48 and we'll just decrease the opacity of our text So we have set the opacity to 50% and uh, now we want to have the cursor. So for that we will just select the rectangle and we'll draw a cursor over here. 
and uh, we'll change the color to this dark color over here. All right, so that's it with our search box. And now we'll select these three elements of our search box and uh, we'll group it and uh, we'll name it search box and we'll move it inside the navigation group. So here we have the search box. We'll just move it below the nav items. And in nav items, we need to add one more thing that is the cross icon. So just right click over here and go to plugins, material design icons. And we'll search for the close icon. So we'll just drag it up here. And we'll just move it outside this search icon. Right, we have this uh, close icon over here. Now the size of our search icon is 30 width and 30 height. So let's go to the close icon and uh, we'll change it to 30 over here as well. And we'll position it to the exact position of the search icon. And we'll just move it up a little. And then just set the opacity to 0. And then we'll select the search box. And uh, we'll move it up. And uh, we'll also move it below this rectangle. And I think that's it for the home page frame now let's just duplicate this home page frame and now we'll go to prototype and uh, we'll select the search icon and we'll just connect this to this frame over here and uh, here we'll make some changes so first of all we'll change the title to search box and now we have to make some changes over here so first of all we have to show the search box so just click on search box and uh, bring it down. And then you have to show the close icon and hide the search icon. So double click over here and uh, this is the close icon. Now we want to bring this close icon down and uh, then set the opacity to 100%. And then we'll select the search icon and uh, move it up a little. And uh, we will set the opacity to 0. Now we'll just select the close icon and uh, we'll go to prototype. And we'll connect this to the home page frame. And uh, we have the interaction set to on click. And for this home page frame we have set the connection from the search icon. I think I just connected the close icon over here as well. So we'll just remove this connection from here. And uh, we will connect the search icon. So select this icon and then connect it to the frame below it. Alright, so that's it with our uh, connections. Now let's test the search box. So now when we click on this uh, search icon, we can see the search box appear over here. And we also have the close icon. And when we click on the close icon, it goes back to the search icon. And we also have the hover animations over here. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.